Abba, Father, I come before your holy throne in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Guide me once again through the Holy Spirit as I listen to Psalm 64. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the throng of evildoers who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows, shooting from ambush at the blameless, shooting at him suddenly and without fear. They'd hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking who can see them? They search out injustice, saying, we have accomplished a diligent search. For the inward mind and heart of a man are deep. But God shoots his arrow at them. They are wounded suddenly. They are brought to ruin with their own tongues turned against them. All who see them will wag their heads. Then all mankind fears. They tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Oh, let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart exult. Father God, thank you for these words. As we become into the society, we see more and more wickedness abounds. And the wickedness comes from words. Words are cast through the media words that are cast through protests, words that are cast through people who are only thinking for themselves and not thinking of the sensitivity of others. We ask for your forgiveness and we know Lord that once again you are in charge and you are the judge that makes all things work out at the end. Oh Lord I thank you for the last stanza of this psalm which reminds us Lord that we who were unrighteous are made righteous through Jesus Christ, and that we can rejoice in you despite the hard circumstances that we go in and we are involved in, that we do not focus on the darkness or the challenging details of those circumstances, but we focus our hearts and our mind and our soul towards you and towards our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, who came for this very reason to be the light of the world. O oh Lord, let us all in our heart exalt our mighty God. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen.